All right, so we are displaying content based on condition here. If we send it a GET request here in the URL, for example, like source 34, we get a different content, right? We get some different content on the page. We, we know that already, and we did it before. Now, we are using a switch statement to do that. What I really want to do is create another page and include it based on that condition on the URL. But let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go to the admin folder. Let me just, that's fine. Let's go to, the, let's make this a little smaller here so that we can control it a little easier. This form actually is kind of big right here. All right. So let's go to the admin folder and then inside includes, I'm going to right click it and create a new file called adpost.php. PHP. Enter. All right. And. I'm gonna just gonna say hello here so that way I know if this is working. So let's go to the post.php and the condition here it would be add post. And we're gonna include that file depending on that condition. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's change the path here and the file name. Well the, the path the file name add post.php. Let's go back here. To the first page, right? And let's go ahead and type in that get request here, that URL. So we're going to say source equal. They're all going to be source because that's the variable we got on the other side, right? The key. So source and the value will be add post. And you can see that we get different content, right? Pretty cool, right? So now we get, we need a form to add the post. That's what we are we intend to do, right? So let's go to add post and let's add that form. And I already have the form made, and I'm just gonna explain every little detail about it. I don't want to take 20 minutes of your time writing doing this, all right? For a simple form that you should be able to make already, all right? So. This is a, just a simple form here with some fields, and I'm gonna pay, uh, save it and show you what it is. We got a post title field, post category that later on we're gonna be doing this dynamically from the database. Post status, we're gonna bring all this information dynamically when we are editing this form, but just know that some of this information is gonna be dynamic, uh, it's gonna be coming in also. So we also have a input for file uploading in this case is going to be an image right post tags and content we got we got all that now let me show you the difference here this form is a little different than the rest of the form the rest of all the forms that we have made and the difference is is that we have a, a picture that we're going to be uploading so for that we need a different attribute called ang type all right and this attribute is going to be in charge of sending different form data and that's what this multi-part forward slash form hyphen data is. So make sure that you have this attribute there. And you can look it up if you want more information. It should be on the php.net. And here, very simple, what I what I what I got here is a diff enclosing all the inputs with a label. And all the inputs have a name attribute that we're gonna be sending to catch with a post super global. Alright? They all have a different one. Those values, we're going to catch them in the form and send it in, as we've done before. This one's going to have a different super global called files. And I'm going to show it to you right now, as a matter of fact. Let's go ahead and catch that data up here. Make sure that it's sent first. So we're going to use an if statement. Now, pause the video if you want to copy this down. All right, take your time and do it. It's worth it, believe me. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit more so that way you can pause it whenever you want and copy it down. So if it's set, well, we need a PHP tag first. So let's do that. Let's close it right here. So if it's set, a post, and I'm using a different name here instead of submit, I'm using create post. Why? Because I wanted to. <laughs> I really wanted to. It's just um, uh, preference. I think it's it's more descriptive. 
So if it's set, we create a post, right? Well, let's find out we get some data first, right? Let's echo something out first and let's just echo the title. Actually, echo right here. Let's echo this out and see if we can get it going, right? So it should be good. Let's say, let's see it. Let's refresh here and let's just put something in the title. Hey, let's submit it and then we get published post. Actually, I'm not submitting the title, I'm submitting the send button. But you saw that it is working. All right. I hear a hey. publish. See that? It is working. All right. So that's working. Now I'm going to copy and paste some values here. Actually, it's going to be something that you already know. So you don't have to worry about it not knowing it. And I'm going to explain it right now in case you forgot. But you should be able to be very familiar with this. We are getting all the po the values from the form right here on the right side, and we are assigning it to variables in the left, and we've done this before. All right? So all these values are going to be right here on the name attribute. We're going to pick it up and assign it here. Now, you might not see two things here. First, the files, super global, and the date. So I'm going to explain them right now. For the posts, for, this, for the images, right? We need the super global files, and this is just going to have the name of image, which is going to be in the input right here. And then we have a name right here. And for this, we also have a temporary location. I'm going to show you right now what a temporary location is. Basically, if you click here and you put it there, this saves it in a temporary location in the server. So when we submit the form, we need to send it from the, this temporary location somewhere else, right? So we need to tell it where to send it. Right now, it's not going to send it anywhere unless we tell it to. It's just going to give us the reference of the image, basically the name of the image. And we don't want the name. We want it to be somewhere in the, in the server, right? So we're going to do that also. We're going to send it somewhere else with another function that I'm going to show you right now. But before I do that, I also want to show you that I'm sending the date in like this with a function. So I'm assigning a function to this variable here. I'm sending that in, in this format. It's going to have the date, the month, and the year. That's what this format means, the date. All right, the date uh, um, function has this format. And you can look it up on php.net, but this is the format that we are assigning it. There are different formats that you can use. Um, again, you can look it up and find out what format is best for you. And here in the post comment count that we're going to be using, we're going to be used that we're going to use this dynamically later on. But right now I'm in code, I'm hard coding this. I'm not getting it from the form. So I'm just assigning this field a value in our database, in our table. As you can see, we have a comment count here and I'm just, I don't want it to be empty. So I'm putting something there for now. Okay. Because I don't have it in the form right now. We're going to be submitting that later we're going to be using that um, field later on all right so this common count all right so everything here is is good let's do that function for the images so let's go ahead and do that functions called uploaded file move uploaded file let me see if i got it right no i didn't get it right let's no, i think i forgot it yeah that's it and we're going to move it from our temp location to, and that's the second parameter, that's, it's going to take two parameters, to the location that we want. In this case, it's going to be outside of admin in the root directory in a folder called images. And that's what these two dots mean. It's going to take me out of here and put it in the in, in the images in the root directory. I want it to be there because this, these are going to be posts. All right. So that's what this is going to do. All right. So if I submit this like this, it's just going to take that. So right now we can test this real quick. And let's go ahead and do that. Let's test this, see if it works, if it doesn't give us a problem. We're going to put some dummy data here. Dummy data, dummy data, dummy data. We're not. This is not going to go to, into our database yet. Remember that we have not done that. We're going to put this image there, and we are going to click Publish. Let's check check it out let me go to my 
finder, which in, in this in your case might be a what you call it desktop. In your case, it might be documents or something like that. Um, we are in the CMS and we are in the images, and as you can see here, we got some images there. All right, so this images this is the image that I just we put it in there and we can see it in action again if you want right here I'm gonna put that image I just took it off I'm gonna put another image there and let's right here I'm gonna put it right here so you can see it and let me actually make it a little smaller so you can see this in action real quick I'm gonna click it and you see the image just transfer right there all right so know that that's what it does. Now, if, the, if this gives you an error, know that you need to come here. If you get an error here on the left side saying that the move uploaded function did not work, the reason is because you need permission on this folder right here. So right click on it. And in Windows, in Mac, you get to get info here and you check the, you click, double click here and you put read and write. That's fine with, with Mac users. For Windows, you right click and you get properties and then inside properties you go to security and then change the uh, permissions alright so for some reason if I'm wrong with Windows uh, look it up online but you should be able to change that go to properties and then on properties you, you should go to security and then there you should be able to edit the permission and set it to 755 or 777 that way this folder has uh, full permission for our PHP to put stuff in there right so know that all right, perfect. Also know that you need to have at least double quotes in here. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for this, for watching this. And we're going to continue this lecture on the next one. It's getting kind of long. And um, take care.